And we're going to be getting some natural water here Yay. very shortly. Yeah, I mean, hey, that turn off the sprinklers. Please. That's the first Please. thing, Please right? Turn yeah. those off. You don't need them. Not even not today, not tomorrow even really. We've got more showers continuing into early tomorrow morning. Here's the view outside. You can see that dense layer of clouds that we're working through as we start off the morning, but clouds are not too low to the ground to start off the day either. Uh, showers are starting up just a bit around North County. We're going to see them spread across the county progressively throughout the day. Uh, flood watch is going to be taking effect. Wind advisory also taking effect, and that's because these wind gusts are picking up these southerly winds. So across the mountains right now, that's where we're the gustiest. We've got uh, double digit wind gusts for Julian, for Sill Hill, for Mount Laguna and Boulevard. Along the coastline, we are only seeing those 10 mile per hour gusts in San Diego, but these are all going to pick up to the 20 and 30 mile per hour range by the time we get toward your afternoon as this storm kind of makes its real arrival across San Diego County. We'll pause this model for you at about 9 a.m. You could see how North County, San Clemente, all the way down through about Del Mar is going to be seeing those showers. And this first band just keeps traveling south as we make our way through the day. So 1 p.m. or so, the South Bay all the way up through about Palomar Mountain can be getting mainly light showers, but the yellow, the orange, and the red, well, those are denoting areas of more moderate to heavy downpours of rain that we could be seeing. Not a strong chance of thunderstorms in the forecast, but there is a moderate risk. If we do see those strong downpours of rain, well, that's where a flash flood risk uh, will continue. So the National Weather Service then would issue a flash flood uh, warning separate from the flood watch that we currently have in effect. After this first wave clears out, the next one comes through. It's going to be one straight line there that makes its way across the county. You see how 730 PM just in time for the evening commute, the uh, nighttime commute. It's going to drop an additional maybe quarter of an inch, half an inch on us by the time we get to that time frame. 11 PM showers start to clear out just a bit and continue clearing all the way through your Wednesday morning by about 10 AM on Wednesday. That's going to be our best opportunity to have dry skies across the county. Beyond that, into Thursday, Friday, and the weekend, we are back to dry conditions out there. But when all is said and done, the amount that we could see on the ground between now and about tomorrow afternoon, it's substantial. Over an inch in Carlsbad, about three quarters of an inch in Escondido, uh, Ramona, 1.4 inches possible. Downtown San Diego, eight tenths of an inch. So these are decent numbers that we're looking at. Temperatures remain in the 60s for this afternoon. Right now, we're mostly in the upper 50s, low 60s. We'll make it to about 64 for Carlsbad and Del Mar. 66 for San Diego. Rain continues into early tomorrow morning, your Wednesday, and then we'll see from Thursday and beyond drier conditions come about. Uh, tomorrow's the coolest day that we have ahead and then we'll start to gradually warm up with that ridge of high pressure building. Remember, we don't see that snow cut off for San Diego County, meaning we won't see snow for our San Diego County mountains. However, we'll see rain and our ski resorts, uh, Big Bear, Mammoth, they'll all be seeing plenty of snow to head out and enjoy the slopes out there. Ned and Eric, back to you.